Hi everyone, hi Auntie and Debbie. Okay, I'm trying out. I give the dish a name, it's parsley potato. Right now I have one shredded carrot, five peeled and cubed potatoes, red and green pimento with onion and a parsley steak, right? Um, I'm going to cut up my parsley and find finely very fine so right. we want about five teaspoons of finely chopped parsley okay that should be good tablespoon of oil vegetable oil just enough to fry up all your fresh seasoning okay this oil should be hot by now so what I'll do I'll saute my I'll saute my pimentos and my onions in the oil that should just be good right now so continue In the pot right now, we have pimentos and onions, a little bit of vegetable oil, about 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil. While that is frying up there, just try this here to get a nice golden color. You don't want it too dark. As you can see, in this pot over here, this is called kalalu. When it is boiling, the boil have to boil down, so when it's finished, we will crush it up and this will be just perfect, ready to eat. Add in one cup of shredded carrots. I'm gonna get all of that into the pot. I will give that a quick a quick toast up. I think you can just smell the different flavors right now. I think a sweet aroma. Reduce your heat. We will leave this for like two minutes to just fry up a little much. There's not much because you don't want it overcooked. We will leave this as ultimately two minutes on medium on slow heat. We will put like half teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of black pepper. This right now is called cayenne pepper. This does not burn and it is not hot. It's just a well flavored cayenne pepper. So Put about one teaspoon. Toss, toss this around. Okay. Now, this seems good. What we're gonna do is put in our potatoes. Now, these potatoes are half boiled with salt, and it is already peeled, so. 
Adding our potatoes. Toss us along. You want to be very careful because you don't want it to mash up while you're turning it. Now the reason for a very good way for it not to be mashed up while mixing, not to boil your potato too soft. Because when you boil your potato soft, it intends to mash up very quick. So you boil it until it's cooked, but not soft and not too hot. So this is looking extremely good already. Look at it. Just look at this. This is looking fantastic. Right now we're just going to add some some parsley. Oh, we're just gonna add our parsley on top of it. All right, that's our parsley here. Give it a toast up. Okay, the secret ingredients right ingredients right now that you won't expect me to put in this is some grated cheese. Now this is approximately one cup of grated cheese. I'm sprinkling on top of this right now. Remember, it's still in the pot, still on low heat. And just, all right, so. Give it like a toss up. Okay, we will raise the heat to medium heat, to medium right now. While I'm tossing up this, we can see how the color is going so far. Wow, doesn't it look it doesn't it look delicious? Okay. Okay, this is as you can see, it's finished. It's ready to eat. What you will do, you will transfer it from this pot straight into a serve bowl, into a serving bowl. This, it smells fantastic, it looks fantastic, and I'm sure it will taste fantastic. So, here's our dish, it has finished. Thank you for watching, hope you try this recipe at home.